Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Hitman World of Assassination. Easter weekend, so a long weekend. Ah, Finally, oh, a bit of extra Want time. Us? Uh, I see um, the the well. plan for this episode is to do one other uh, kill for Zoe Washington, one of the two targets. They're, I think, twin sisters, Sophia and Zoe Washington. I also still have to uh, finish exploring, clearing all the unexplored items, icons on the map. God damn it, I missed that shot. What an idiot. Really, pretty big idiot. Right, there's a guy on the other side. I should probably start over. That's quicker than waiting for them to... Um, return to normal. Ah, now they are. Um, actually... Your eyes open. Here, I know it. Holy shit, I got some pop-up. Of, I really find the Epic Game Store launcher or the Epic launcher terrible. Super slow, probably a drain on resources. The reason why I took the shot is because otherwise I have to wait for this guy to... I'm gonna try it again. Yes, that was... Uh, and the enduring spirit. That was uh, good enough. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, the reason. Yeah, no. I was a bit impatient there because I wanted to shoot it uh, initially before that guy uh, obscured the, the shot, the line of uh, fire. Oh, there, buddy. You're trespassing. That was weird. Who? Who sees you, me? Sir, if you follow me. Ten four. Where is this guy coming? This is the first time that this guy comes in. This is all right. So maybe that's because I was out of sync because of that first shot that I missed. I had to wait a bit. All right. So very shoddy start. Anyways, Zoe uh, Washington, we are ah, going to do. More, I see. Want to join us? Ah, one I see kill that she so is going to. Well, have some kind of an initiation ritual. She enters a yeah a statue that's put on fire, and we are going to make it so that she cannot escape it. All right now I'm a little bit quicker here, and now I can shoot it before that guy obscures the line of fire. Now we are also quicker over here, so the guy still a little bit weird. I really didn't knew that one of these guys from outside would come inside in. What do you think that noise was? That's actually totally new for me. Maybe he was also in an alert state or something. I have no idea. Okay. All right. I also should have waited. Yeah. This is only delaying. He spotted me almost. And then you have to wait five seconds for him to continue as normal. Anyways, we are going to do uh, that kill. That must be Janus's casket. And then there's. Looks like the wake is about to start, but still no body. Also, a kill of Zoe, I think, in this morgue area. Yeah, we all explored it already in previous episodes, so I cannot, would take too much time to explain everything again, because there are just so many things in this environment, but I do think there may also be a way to take her out inside the morgue. Janus, the first constant that we killed in the previous level, there's a wake being held for him. We already took uh, Zoe out over there near that Stonehenge, uh, those rocks. That's where the casket is. We already took her out uh, through a 
kill opportunity with that casket was pretty damn cool. But I think I also want to try and see if there's a way to take her out near where Janus's body is being prepared. Hmm. But let's first do the kill that we uh, are Check that out, set out you? to do. I hear you. There was like this dialogue um, for that wake. There is like Janus's body is being prepared, but they are missing a dagger. And in that dialogue, they said, Why, if "Place." If I didn't know any better, I'd say you died only yesterday. Here's Janus. That's his uh, burial robe. Right, enjoy your night. Final touch. Um, by the way, I'm gonna burial mask and ceremonial dagger. Take. Oh, the crowbar is always handy. My unique polymer treatment will preserve your body. Um, anywho, there's like this dialogue over here. We can listen to it now. And then she says, if you find the dagger, put it near the body. I wake for over a month. I have some of the world's most prominent people waiting to pay him their last respects. I have the star of the Prague Philharmonic on stage, ready to play a blindfold. Ave Maria on the harp, for God's sake. And you're telling me that you lost the sodding dagger. I'm really sorry, ma'am. My team received no notification. You sure they didn't give you a crate number? They did not give me a crate number. I was told you people would have it under control. Fine, fine. I'll go and have another look. See that you do. And when you do find it, bring it to the tower basement where the founder's body's been kept. Mortician. More pressure. All right. Just what I need. Then they say bring hey it there. to the oh, tower basement sorry. where the body is kept. So that is probably a way to, um, yeah, get close to Zoe and take her out of there. There's, a, there's a, uh, the only problem is where, where are we now? Ah. Um, all right. I have to get my bearings. Oh shit! And I have to also be careful over here. Because there are two the enforcers walking about. Ah, this is a much quicker way than how I did it in the previous episodes. Although this door is locked. Um, anywho, the only problem with that setup is that I think it requires. It, there's a camera near that body. This is, by the way, the kill that we are now going to uh, do. We're going to set this on fire, but make sure that she cannot escape from it. Normally she gets in and then she, sh she escapes uh, out of the back while the thing is being lit on fire. And that is like an amazing showpiece uh, for the, the audience. But we will make sure that she cannot get out anymore. Um, but for that dagger, uh, placing it back to the, at the body, and then I assume Zoe will come by over there, and then you have a chance to take her out. But it says there's like this uh, video camera over there, and it has a button prompt saying place remote explosive in the uh, camera. So that is probably how you can take her out, but I, the only problem is that I have no idea, I did not find any remote explosives yet. And I also, if I break open this door, these guys behind it will stop me. But this is actually a bit annoying. Hey, sir. So I was quite quickly over here compared to the previous episode, but it's not. Uh, maybe it still is an okay route. Uh, because normally I went through that building and then I entered or ended up at the other side of this uh, building, but I think I can just go in here. No, not this one. 
Three S. This is where we need to be. Oh shit! I need a uh, wrench. Screw. Where is a wrench? There's a wrench yeah, on the table. I guess you're right. But I am pretty sure that there is one of these guys is an enforcer. But the guy is looking the other way, right? That's also, I think, a challenge. That's something to do with fire, because it's also a challenge in the Colorado level. Where you can uh, put all the NPCs in the level of fire. And of course, this statue will also be put to fire. So it has something to do with fire, but I'm, I'm just gonna look it up now. Wicker man. Horror thriller. The Wicker Man is a wooden roller coaster that. No. The futures. A Wicker Man was purportedly a large wicker statue in which the druids sacrificed humans and animals by burning. Right, but then what's a wicker? Pliable twigs, typically of willow, plated or woven to make items such as furniture and baskets. Right. I know what that is. In Dutch we call it reed. Um, anywho, we now need to... I'm just going to break open the door. I could be spotted. No, I won't. Or will I? Yes, I just will. Screw it. Take a little chance. Alright, nobody here. There is one of these guys is a uh, enforcer. Let's see if there is another way. Just to get to grips with the level. We now need the disguise. Ah, there is also a wrench over here. So enough wrenches. There is a... From there is a disguise. Ah, this is what I was looking for. Um, of the cer oh, ceremony master, which uh, allows us to lure in Zoe to start the uh, ritual. And the guys over here, we Seriously, already. I'll, I'll the needed his disguise in the previous episode as well, when, when we did the and cannon kill. It's part of my brand. We killed Zoe also near that uh, ritual location, but not with fire, but with a cannon shot. Didn't go fully according to plan because there were some uh, bodyguards killed as well. But it's just, I'm, I'm not going for a full serious silent assassin run now. It is just messing about a bit. No, no, she frightens me. I just, uh, just, just give me a moment to control her nerves. All right, Mr. Henniger. Break her
Alright, that worked. Hmm. I did lose my coin. Where the hell is my coin? Ah, maybe I picked it up already. I think I picked it up after throwing it. Project your voice. Anyways, we already read that uh, whiteboard earlier. Ah, Here we go. Fennec. Excellent. Fennec, thank Christ. Ready when you are. Some pledge, and yet a drop in the ocean. Right now, we have to wait for her to come over. Frame rate takes a pretty big hit off here. But luckily the game doesn't crash as much in this area as uh, in other levels. But those crashes are totally random because sometimes they also happen indoors when you would think there are not a lot of NPCs, the GPU CPU load is light. And over here the GPU and CPU load is much higher and here it doesn't crash. So I have no idea whether it's just the game, probably it's just the game. Alright, there she comes. Zoe Washington, the Ark Society recognizes you as our founder's rightful successor, our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Patrons of the Ark Society, you are part of a select chosen few. Our founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. We must live and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress, be it our next home in the stars or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose of the elite. Not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes and all comes tumbling down, when mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition, we will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud, be fearless, for the future is ours to shape. Right, now for Mister? the final. Ah yeah, man, you're looking jacked. She gets okay, in there. Vinegar. I'll dress to kill. Now, let's do this thing. Normally, once the fire is lit, she Light gets around. out. But I think she what now will not be able to. As the world burns, we rise from its ashes. Not just to survive, but to live. Yes, the door is locked. Down. Nice work. Three 
pretty damn cool. Uh, kill, I must say. Oh, by the way, can we get past here? We need our uniform back. Because now she is done for. start over and try that dagger uh, kill opportunity that uh, I commented on earlier but what we can also do is now there was for her sister I was also in a previous episode busy with a way to take her out and damn it I would like to have a key didn't this guy drop a key yes If I just go explore that a little bit more, that will also allow me to explore a bit of areas and maybe find that remote explosive, which I do maybe expect we need for that other Zoe kill uh, in the near the corpse of Janus. Um, anywho, the other. have to be careful about the two enforcers roaming about but the other way it's quite tricky it, it, that's for, for Sophia she is a treasure hunter and her ex-lover uh, Nathaniel Drake or Drake Nathaniel he Oh shit, somebody is almost yeah, like real landscapes and people seeing me. Anyways, that uh, necklace over there, that's a priceless artifact that uh, was donated, I think, to the Ark Society, but he secured it very well because he expects uh, Sophia, his ex-lover, uh, there in a rivalry to steal it. And we can, uh, probably we will need to obtain it. And we can do that by probably disabling the um, the security over there. That's with the laptop. We can disable it. But this guy is an enforcer. Right. So Hello, sir. Hello. So it's really quite tricky, but it, there could be a way to do it. By now, just. If he won't see huh? me now. Yes, he won't What's see What's going me. on? Yes, he goes, and if the other guy now. That's the problem. The other guy. Yeah. Telling you. Keeps you looking at me. Ghost couldn't get past this so I first need to get this guy out. So this is quite tricky. I was also thinking about um, maybe pressing a fire button or something. Uh, Hello, sir. Fire alarm. Or yeah, I forgot, but now uh, I remember. Alarm systems up and running. Out of sight. That is uh, Nathan Drake inspired Drake Nathaniel. Probably if we get into his disguise, we are allowed to uh, go there. So let's see if we can single out this guy somewhere. Problem is probably first a dialogue triggers. And that's a pretty long one, a whole story. That's You're Blake Nathaniel, right? Yeah, here it goes, <laughs> goddammit. If you don't mind me asking. People have been searching for the Cloud Serpent for centuries. Where so did you find it? Wait. Well, to cut a long story short, or it began with a Portuguese galleon salvaged off the coast of Costa Rica. 
One of the long dead sailors had a tattoo etched into the back of his <laughs> neck, and it spoke of a map to the mythical serpent's tomb Super funny. hidden inside the royal scepter. I think this tomb. is the voice actor of Nathan Drake. The so scepter, similar. which was stolen by Cortez's troops after the fall of Tenochtitlan, now belonged to Esteban Montoya, head of the Moreno drug cartel. Safe to say that was, uh, <laughs> that was an interesting afternoon. See this scar? Anyway, that was only the beginning. Spiders, death traps, ancient puzzles, and of course, the Washington twins and their trigger happy raiders. Oh shit, there are the. Uh... That is Sophia Washington. Those guys. Chairwoman of the Ark Society, professional treasure hunter, and Providence Officer. That will buy our uh, enforcers. Not to mention, I earn it. I actually solved those damn puzzles rather than just sneak my way through them. Zoe and Sophia have no respect for the crowd or, or for ancient architecture. Still. Sophia's one hell of a woman. Ah, yes. That must be hard. The rivalry. <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, love and war, miss. Love and war. Anyway, super funny how they uh, based his whole character on Nathan Drake and the Uncharted series. Let's see if we can disguise ourselves as Nathan Drake slash Drake Nathaniel, as he is called in this game. Yes, hello, sir. Hello, hello. Yeah, I probably should have. Uh, there's no way to hide anything here. No, I wanted to say lure him over there. All right, the guy at the back, the guard, is an enforcer. And again, I have no idea whether, or not again, but just in general, I have no idea whether what I'm trying now is the correct way. Maybe you need to keep Nathaniel Drake. Uh -huh. Hey, you! Please stop throwing stuff around, okay? Let's huh? I'll get to the bottom of this. God damn it! Okay, sure. Yeah, his patrol. It's pretty uh, in view, so to say. And maybe I need to not get his disguise, that you need him later once you uh, disable the security of that necklace and you stole it. That he needs to be part still as a character to play out this opportunity, I have no idea. Yeah, so this is his uh, routine. This sensor system was worth every penny. Check and mate, Sophia. Right, this is also too many people over here, I would say. I now know a little bit this route. Yeah, there are too many people. If I throw a coin, other people will probably be uh, here. There are people everywhere. Other people will probably get to the coin that I'm throwing. Maybe not over here. This, yeah, but no, there are people over here. God damn it! There are just too many people around. Right, we do have fire alarm here. I was looking for a fire alarm button. Here, there he comes. Here, this is also not viable. He, I'm sure he will not come. God damn it. Please no, stand back. Know. I'll check it out. You see, this is what okay. I Okay. Speechless. Why does this always happen to me? Yeah, this is a moment I could have lured him away, but only to here and... Ah, but he will walk past by here. 
So once he does, if he is closest... Here, as soon as I see him, I'm gonna throw a coin over there. As soon as he walks by, There he goes. Ah, oh, fuck me, man. Oh. That's so annoying Stand if you back, please. throw the coin. No problem. And then the um, the door closes, then he, they don't hear it. That's one of the most frustrating things. Have a good things. evening. All right, I could probably take him out. Over here on the um, on the stairs, but then can I hide his body? No. There are way too many people over there. Can I hide his body down below? I could, if I first take out these guards. How many? Sir, hope you're well. Uh, it's, it's just super probably I'm just not good at the game and I'm overlooking something but there are just too many people to take out to hide this body somewhere if I take him out on this stairs here Consuming. All right, you know what? I will for now leave him be. I will try my luck with um, a fire alarm. You know this is state of the art. Not Holy enough. fuck! Anybody can get past Those this. two guys are uh, enforcers. Right, let's see where the fire alarm was. Yeah, I saw a fire alarm in the big area down below, but I wonder whether that then also impacts the floor above. On the other hand, I do like, would like to take out Um, oh shit! Holy shit! I thought I was on a different door. They actually came through there. That was a really close call. I was hiding behind the wrong door. Anyways, I would like to take him out actually. But it's just. It's quite a long patrol. Yeah, I could, you know what? If I take out these guys, it will be quite annoying, but let's just okay. do it. Okay, everything's good. Stay put. I'll take a look. Okay, got it. Huh? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, I hate this so much. Nothing here. Calling in. Calling in. Oh, you have a You would expect. Oh my god! You gotta be kidding! You would expect Lock the game. Visual. Lock visual. Anyone got eyes on Django? No 
Location check. Suspect's not here. Where did he come from? Command, please acknowledge. Come in, command. Security breach. I need you to move now. Yeah, I understand. All right, I could have known it. Um... Okay, I got it. That that little wall Stay was alert. a little bit too low to take him out, but yeah, it could have just as well worked as well. Because I was crouched in shrubbery. Ah uh, uh, no, I should have known that it wouldn't wasn't possible. Anyways, how many guys are here now? One or two? I think two, right? So if this guy will not wake them up... Which he probably is going to do now. Yeah, fucking annoying. Reloading uh, audio effects. Right. This is all going terrible. What? what? I need you to keep your head down if you want to stay alive. It's not safe here. Yeah. Okay, I think I understand. Is anyone hurt? To watch my six. Problem is, is that those you to leave the area. people over there. Hey, hey! They are constantly seeing when I take out another one. Getting here. Um, yeah, I got it. Come in, command. Seems like we have a strangler on the premises. Why would you? I see him. Come on, right there. Shoot that whitey son of a bitch. All right, you know what? Fuck this shit. Seriously, this is what I mean. I'm just trying to set up. Getting one disguise and it can be so time consuming if it it all feels a bit a little bit clunky. I mean it's an amazing game, don't get me wrong. It is just also uh, me just growing up. Won't you join us? Uh, I see someone's in a hurry to get inside. God damn it. Now I have to wait for that super annoying um, Nathaniel Drake. Or Drake Nathaniel, the dialogue again. So much waste of time. And also so annoying that. Those guys, that there were so many guys, there's hardly any reason to 
me. Uh, opportunity to take that Drake Nathaniel disguise. No sign of any pup. Moving on. That must be Janus's casket, but still, no body. Find out what that was. I hear you. Oh, this as well. All right, screw. All right, I've totally had it. This taking out this guy, I didn't do that any different than the ten times before, and one every ten times. Somehow the other guy spots me taking him out. It's so. Flipping annoying. Uh, anyways, I will uh, get back into the disguise and into the um, security area with Nathaniel Drake in between episodes because it's otherwise there's just too much repetition. Um, and I will try to uh, calm my frustration a bit because this game can have so high peaks, but it can also be so flipping annoying if you want to do something and you have to do so much repetition to get back to where you were. And of course I can lower the difficulty, but that's just not my way of playing. I like a challenge, but yeah, it does it, it can also become super frustrating. But I like I, I mind the frustration less than having a totally dumbed down foolproof uh, experience with hot icons, unlimited saves, etc. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, guys, sorry for my uh, yeah, moody uh, disposition at the end, sometimes that happens. We'll continue in the next one, hope to see you there. For the meantime, do not forget always to keep on gaming, Slater.